Another footage has been released, showing the explosions that occurred following the Ukrainian army's missile attack on the occupied city of Luhansk on October 29. As can be seen from the footage shared by local residents, two explosions took place in the area. One of them is said to be at a gas station. It should be noted that an explosion and fire occurred in the ammunition warehouse as a result of the Ukrainian missile strike on the area. Residents who shot the footage said those in the area fled after the first explosion. <laughs> Там заправка была. Ни хрена я была. Где это? Не сработало, сука, я снимал все, блядь. Не сработало? Охренеть, вот эта красота была, блядь. Что горит? Не снялось, сука. Что они бегут куда? Я что, я и окна повылетали нахуй на все. Вы повылетали окна? Да, я шел к Но... Повылетала она же. Нихуя. Все, смотри, все уезжают. Вон летит, аж свои куски летят. Вон бегут все люди. Еще разок где бала. Пиздец. Ага. Машину забирайте. Убирайте тачки. Охренеть. Охуеть. South Korea and U.S. forces conducted a joint military exercise on Wednesday, amid escalating tensions with North Korea following reports that Pyongyang has sent troops to Russia. The drills took place at a live-fire training complex in Pochen, northeast of Seoul. AH-64E Apache helicopters of the U.S. Army participated in the exercise with the South Korean Army's 901 Aviation Battalion. The Allies have been stepping up their cooperation in security and defense as North Korea continues to ramp up hostilities by testing new weapons and dispatching troops to Russia to support its war with Ukraine. Officials from Seoul and Washington said last week that 3,000 North Korean troops have been deployed to Russia and are training at several locations. South Korean officials said North Korea eventually aims to send a total of 10,000 troops to Russia.
purpose of today's exercise is to test the combat readiness, not only of U.S. aviation, but also the ROC aviation and how we partner together.